how to analyze intraday open interest like a pro this is what we are going to see today in the market secrets option trading series so let's begin intraday oi analysis why do we need to do intraday open interest analysis the reason is simple 85 percentage of the action in trading happens in options so option trading involves a big chunk of money so if you focus on where the money is and what that money is doing you can easily analyze the trend of the stock or index so that is why intraday oi analysis is highly significant now let's see how to do it so the first step is to find out whether there is a call build up that is happening in the option chain this is the typical option chain data from the nse website in order to find the call build up you need to focus on call side of the option chain so your focus should be on this particular area so if you look at here there is a huge open interest in these strike prices right so this indicates there is a good call build up about 12200 so nifty will be struggling to break and move about 12200 but if you look at these strike prices the call build up is not there there's a very low open interest here so this indicates the price will not go down either so it might be range bound for a while before taking either an up move or a down move so you'll have to keep watching this data to get the clear understanding on the further move so this is the way to find out whether there is a good call build up or not in this case there's a good call build up especially at 12300 so 12300 is going to be our immediate resistance so let's go back to the slide so the next item is put build up you need to look at the put side of the option chain and if you look at here there's a good put build up as well so for the strike prices below 12200 there is relatively a good put build up happening so this indicates there's going to be a lot of support if nifty moves down again you need to keep watching this data to get a clear picture in the forthcoming days but for now 12200 12100 and 12000 will act as a good support so the inference from the call build up and put build up in this particular data is that the nifty may be range bound for a few days in the forthcoming days it might be in range bound mode so that is the interpretation that you can get from this data so moving back to the next item which is max pain max pain can be used to estimate where the price can move and end on an expiry day we have prepared and shared a separate video on max pain earlier click on the top right corner of this video to open the video dedicated to max pain moving on the next item is pcr which is nothing but put call ratio it is a simple division of put open interest by call open interest so let's go back to the data so if you look at here this is the open interest for calls and this is the open interest for puts so if you want to calculate pcr you need to divide total open interest of the puts by total open interest of the calls so in this particular case the pcr comes to 1.18 which indicates there are a lot of puts when you compare it with calls so if there are a lot of put contracts that indicates option sellers have sold more number of put contracts when you compare it with call contracts so this indicates the big players are betting on the price to move up because if there are a lot of puts then price will not go down so the price might either be range bound or it should move up since pcr is at 1.18 it indicates the nifty is currently bit bullish but this is the overall picture to get the immediate picture you can select a strike price and then view what is the pcr of that particular selected strike price so in this case the nearest price is 12200 so if you want the pcr of 12200 strike price you need to divide 19 lakh by 11 lakhs so the pcr of 12200 strike price is 1.65 which indicates the nifty is currently bullish that is highly bullish so if the price drops to 12200 
then you can take a long. That is the inference that you can get from this particular data. So I'm going back to the slide. So the next item is PCR at a particular strike. This we have already covered. And the next item is intraday PCR move. In addition to checking the PCR at a selected strike price, you need to keep on monitoring how the PCR moves throughout the day during intraday trading. For example, if the price of a stock or index is dropping but the PCR of a nearest strike price is not moving down, it is instead moving up, then it indicates it's a fake move. So let's see an example. So in this case, for example, 12,200 is the nearest strike price. So during intraday trade, if Nifty is dropping but PCR of 12,200 strike price, instead of going down, if it started moving up, then it indicates there are a lot of puts that is being written at this particular strike price. So this actual drop of the price is actually fake. So it might hit 12,200 and then bounce back. So that is the inference that you can get from this particular data. So you need to keep a tab on PCR at the nearest strike price. So if the price is coming down to 12,200, but if the PCR is moving up, it indicates a clear false move. It's a fake move. So this is the inference that you can get and you can use it on the other way as well. If the price is moving up, but the PCR is not moving up, then it is also a fake move. So this data will help you to capture a lot of intraday moves and especially it will help you to avoid the fake moves that is happening in the market. So hope you find this session useful. If you have any queries, let me know in the comment section of this video. Hit thumbs up if you have liked this video. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.